So here I am at phase three of the tissue fitting, and you'll notice that I'm doing this all by myself. Um, and that it's an on-again, off-again process, and underneath my camisole, I'm wearing my best bra. So everything is as it will be when I wear the garment. What I've done here is um, I have put in a little bust dart. And this is, you kind of do it in front of the mirror by feel more than anything. And what this tells me is about how much I need to take out of the armhole to get rid of that gap. And on a t-shirt, most women do need a bust dart, and the bust dart really should come out of the armhole. This is a design principle. If you went to FIT and learned how to become a professional pattern maker, this is one of the things you'd learn in school. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'll take it off and go back and we'll refine the bust dart. And I'll show you how to add a bust dart. The other thing I'm noticing is, and you may be picking this up too, is that it's still a little tight in the un across the bust. So what I will do is um, I'll make a note to myself that I'm going to cut one inch side seams on my t-shirt. And that gives me, um, it'll maintain the same shaping, but the last thing I do in the sewing process will be to pin in the side seams and put them exactly where I want them to be. So by adding an inch, that gives me plenty of leeway to do that once the construction is done. Some of the fitting is going to be done at this point in the tissue fitting. And the most important part is to get the fit across the front. Um, so I want the neck and this area to really relate to my figure. I can trim down the armhole, I can change the neck, I can even play with the placement of the bust dart when I come to the sewing part. But now let's put the bust dart in and let me show you how to do that. So here we are um, with phase four of the on again, off again process of the tissue fitting. And what I did was I lengthened this armhole a half inch. My little dart, I pinched out um, a quarter of an inch right at the seam. So that tells me then I'm going to lengthen a half inch. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the mirror. So that's what I'll do next is I'll go back to the mirror and just visually what you're going to do is pinch out that dart so that it is where you want it to be. And in a knit, a dart that comes out of the armhole is going to be a short little dart, and it's going to be a small little dart. And a lot of people, it's a very common tendency to make this dart too deep. Anything deeper than about a half inch is much too much. Now, why didn't I just put that dart in and be done with it? And I have to say, that's an option. But if you're big busted, um, the, it, the reason you add the length is because you not only need to, big enough to go around the bust, but you also need it to go up and over. And this extra length is what's going to assure them that the hem will um, be straight at the bottom. So we'll go back to the mirror, and I'll pin in the dart, and that does the final positioning. So what I've done at this point is I've actually taped the pattern just to myself at the center back to hold it in place. So it's all settled the way it will be. And now, working with the mirror and kind of eyeballing the dart, I'm going to fold that dart into position and hold it and put a pin in to hold it. And then I'll take it off and fine tune it at the design table. I can also take a colored pencil and make a dot at the fullest part of my um, bust so that I know that that little dart is pointing in the right direction. So now I'm, I'm using that, that crease as a reference point. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect, and I think that's where people get hung up. Get close. You can always restitch it if it's not in the right place. It's a knit. You can make it a little bit deeper. You just you don't want to make this dart too long, so it'll be about maybe three inches, two inches long, and it'll look something like that. Could be maybe a tiny bit longer. So now I'll put this on one more time, and check it out and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm trying to get close. It does again. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, 
but I am very much liking what's happening with that little dart. That little dart solves a lot of problems. So at this point, um, the tissue fitting has done its job so far. So what I've got is um, the garment is big enough to go around me. It's fitting me in the neck, the shoulder, the armhole seems good. I may want to change the location of the armhole seam, but I can do that in the sewing stage. And the final thing we're going to do is take a look at the sleeve. 